So what I'm messing with here is a variation on a very simple synthesizer known as the Atari Punk Console, which uses two 555 timers, or you could use a 556 timer if you like. But I've added a little something extra to it to make it a little bit more fun. Hey, what's happening, guys? Here's the standard Atari Punk console. Ignore this over here. It's not connected. So we have two 555 timers. Let me disconnect that. And here's the schematic. Here's our first 555 timer. And it's set up pretty simple in an A-stable mode. You see we have our resistor divider here. This is controllable by using a potentiometer. Then we have our cap here for timing, and it's going to output a square wave to pin 3, which is going to act on pin 2 over here in this sort of monostable uh, vibrator over here. Then we just have a filter cap going out to uh, the speaker. So everything here is pretty simple. We'll hook it back up here. And I can even uh, bring on the oscilloscope, and we can take a look at the type of waveform we're getting here. Notice the oscilloscope is going to change the sound a little bit. Interesting, isn't it? So if we come over here and we take a look at the scope, let's adjust it a little bit here. Let's try an auto and see what we get. There you go, you can kind of see the waveform we're getting, and then as I adjust frequency, slow it down, speed it up. Anyway, you get an idea of what we're seeing there, right? So this, whoa, <laughs> you don't want to stay put. This is a simple, um, synthesizer that I believe was invented by Forrest Mims, I'm not quite sure. But you can mess with these. And get something that's interesting. Well, here's something I thought would be more interesting. One of the things that you'll see a lot in synthesizers is kind of a control voltage situation. So we actually have a control voltage pin on the 555 timer. So what if we hook up another 555 timer set up as an A-stable multivibrator and feed it into the control voltage pins? Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in some decoupling capacitors between pins uh, 1 and 8 are VCC and ground. And that's going to... Oh, sorry about that. This thing just doesn't want to stay put. Ah. I don't know what I'm going to do about that. Anyway. See, now we have a better... more stable kind of... sound. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hook up the ground on this one over here, making this active. And then we'll take the output, which of course is pin 3, and we'll feed it into pin 5 here. You see how it's changed the sound?
we've essentially added an LFO, a low frequency oscillator, into our signal. So let's hook up the uh, oscilloscope once again and have a look at what that audio waveform looks like. Pretty interesting, isn't it? So I can still adjust our main two potentiometers to affect our frequency, basically. But now, I can also adjust the LFO. And we can take a look at that effect on the waveform. Hmm. In that position, it seems we've kind of taken out that first oscillator. So let's hook up another output from our LFO to pin 5 over here. See what we get now. There we go. And then we can adjust here again. We can get that kind of sweeping phasing sound, and if we look at the corresponding waveform as I adjust it, you can hear it almost changing in octaves. And that is the second control. Anyway, just some more fun with the 555 timer. A little bit of audio frequency fun. A couple 555 timers, a couple potentiometers couple caps and a single resistor is really all you need. Here's another look at the schematic. If you want to pause that you can you know write it down copy it however you want. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little video on uh, a modification of the Atari Punk console. If you did please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons and big thanks to you guys for being part of our family here as we're about to reach 100,000 subscribers. We're almost at 99,000. It won't be long now, and I couldn't do it without you. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. All right, that's it. I'm out. Peace.